In today's video, I want to show you how to permanently and automatically disable app notifications while screen recording using Apple's new feature called Focus Mode. If you swipe down from the top right to access the control center, you'll notice the built-in screen recorder is active. And where it used to say, do not disturb, it now says focus. If I tap on focus, you can see all the focus modes that I've created. To create a focus mode of your own, tap this plus sign right here, and you'll be taken to the settings. Using a focus mode to disable on-screen notifications while screen recording allows you to speed up the editing process. You can use one of these focus modes or create a custom one by tapping on custom. The first panel that you see is this one where you can set the name and appearance of your focus mode. Type a name in the text box below. I'm going to call this one go live. Swipe up to scroll down and you'll see a bunch of colors that you can use to differentiate between different focus modes. Below that are some custom icons provided for you. These icons will be displayed when this focus mode is turned on. To continue and move on to the next panel, tap next. Here you can add people that you want to receive notifications from. Since I'm setting up this focus mode for when I go live, I don't want to receive notifications from anyone. But if you did, you could add people by tapping on the plus sign here. You can also tap on remove all to remove all of the people. Here you can choose the apps you want to receive notifications from. Just like before, you can either tap on remove all or swipe up to scroll down and tap on allow none. Tap on remove all to remove all of the apps at once. Then tap on remove apps to confirm you want to delete all the apps again. Swipe up to scroll down and tap on allow none to continue. Your focus mode is now ready. Tap the arrow in the upper left hand corner to go back to the settings for the focus that you've just created. Here you can modify any setting at any time. You can Turn the focus on or off manually using the switch. If you swipe up to scroll down, you'll see an option that says Add Schedule or Automation. Swipe down from the top right to access the control center once more. When you do, you'll notice two things. The built-in screen recorder is still active. Where it said focus, you will now see the name of your focus mode as well as the icon. Also, take a look at the top of the screen for the icon displayed in the status bar. It is not possible to activate a focus mode when you activate the built-in screen recorder like it is now. You can activate a focus mode based on time of day, location, or by opening and closing specific apps. Take a look at the examples and decide which one works best for you. I'm going to use app. If I open an app, the focus mode should turn on. If I close an app, the focus mode should turn off. You need to add an automation for each app that you want to use. When you tap on app to begin, you'll be presented with a list of apps. This list contains all the apps currently on your iPhone. Place the cursor in the search field and begin typing the name of the first app that you want to use. When the name of the app appears, select it off this list and this panel will disappear. You'll be back on the main settings page for this focus mode. Let's add another app. Tap on add schedule or automation one more time. If you use the keyboard suggestions, remember that a space is automatically added at the end. Remove the space and you should see the name of the app that you want to use. I'm going to repeat this process to add two more apps, Video Leap and LumaFusion. Then I'll turn off the focus mode manually and show you that the automation will work every time I open or close the app. Keep in mind that when you open an app you've added, the focus mode should turn on 
and when you close the app or swipe it away by swiping up from the bottom of your iPhone, the focus mode will turn off. I'll tap on CapCut to open the app. Let's see what happens. To open an app, just tap on the icon normally. The app will open and the focus mode should turn on. When I tap on CapCut, the app opens. Wait a few seconds and you'll see the notification that says Go Live on. If I close the app by swiping up from the bottom to swipe the app away, wait a few more seconds and you'll see Go Live off. Notice that I didn't open the multitasking window and close the app permanently. Did you know you can use your app library to find the apps you want to use rather than finding their individual icons on your home screen? To do this, just swipe past your last home screen and you'll open your app library. Type the name of the app that you want to find. Then, when that app appears, just select it off the list. This is much faster. If an app appears offloaded, it will have a little cloud next to it. To reinstall the app, even though it's on your phone already, you need to tap on the cloud. If you can't find an app in your app list, it's because it's probably offloaded. When I open InShot, you get the notification that says Go Live On. When I close InShot, you'll get another notification that says Go Live Off. Next, I'll type Video Leap and then tap on it. The focus mode is activated once more and the focus mode will be activated until I close the app. Turning the focus mode on automatically ensures that you don't have to remember to activate Do Not Disturb before you start the screen recorder. Notice that when I close Video Leap, you get the notification that says Go Live Off. When I open LumaFusion, the focus mode will turn on. However, I use LumaFusion to edit all of my YouTube videos. If you want to receive notifications and phone calls while using an app, you can manually turn off the focus mode.